good afternoon welcome back to our kitchen essentials our kitchen essentials for finals and this is our number six okay our number six kitchen essentials is the five mother sauces which is going to be in preparation for other cuisines that you will have in the future so when we say french basic five mother sauces you can add other ingredients to make your dish special but if you're going to add cheese or other ingredients it will change its its name okay so our first one which is our basic basic okay mother sauce is bechamel bechamel sauce is used for pasta and other kinds of dishes okay so the first one that we need actually to make is a roux what is a roux we actually have here a brown roux and a white roux but what we're going to do now is simply our white roux or bechamel is also called white sauce okay so our white sauce what we need is cheese i mean not cheese it's butter okay so this is butter we already have our pan here which is warm okay you simply have to do low heat okay slow fire there you are okay and you simply don't like our of course butter to be so dark okay so there you are you simply have to add your Start. Okay. Now we take your flour. We're making the white roux. That's the flour. Okay. Don't overcook your flour. Okay. So you have all mixed together. No lumps if possible. Okay. So as soon as you don't see any lumps of the flour then you can already place your milk okay so this is just simply your evaporated milk okay. so this is our white sauce which is our bechamel sauce okay there you are Anyway, after watching the video, you will see the measurements. But this one that I'm preparing is just good for one person. Okay. But this can also be used for your baked macaroni. This can also be used for your carbonara. This can also be used for your lasagna. Yes. Okay. So, different kinds of pasta. But I can also use this for meat, for chicken, for beef, or for pork. Okay. You just wait for it to thicken. For a few minutes, it's around 6 to 8 minutes. Okay. After 6 to 8 minutes, you have now a thick sauce. And this thick sauce, of course, it will depend how many the amount of milk you have placed okay if you place more than one cup of milk or two cups of milk then it needs more time for cooking but you can feel and you can see that there are no lumps in your bechamel sauce or white sauce is already fine i simply added already mushroom okay you can also maybe add chicken bits of bacon or ham that has been pre-fried of course you simply have to add little of your pepper okay that's a pinch of pepper according to your taste and you have here salt for your taste okay it's just salt and pepper that we added if you want it to be white then use white pepper okay so if you don't have the white pepper then you can simply use the black pepper we are now ready for our plating we are now ready for our plating. So this is our bechamel sauce. We have now a pre-prepared pasta. And with our pasta, we simply had to boil this with water, with a little salt and oil, and washed in cold water. It's going to be all plenty for your pasta. We now place our bechamel sauce on top of our pasta. This is actually our bechamel sauce 
and you simply have to add of course cheese and bits of a bacon okay so this is now our white sauce or our bechamel sauce we now have to place a little of your cheese okay oh, sorry. your cheese you can have different kinds of cheese if you prefer to have um, quick melt or whatever cheese that you have so we will just simply add your bacon or bits of chicken or beef or pork this is now our special bechamel sauce or white sauce